Hey guys, Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net and on today's video we're going to talk about emotions and masculinity. Do the two go hand in hand or is it a sign of weakness? See, society for so long has encouraged males to suppress their emotions because it's deemed not to be masculine. Masculinity is all about strength. It's, it's weak to show an emotion because it's just a, a crack in your armor where somebody can you know, penetrate you and, and bring you to your knees. Maybe it was back in the war times or something like that when you're out on the battlefield and you've got, you know, matey boy next year who's starting to get a little bit teary-eyed because of something's happened and, and next minute he becomes a weakness in the, in the pack. Maybe that's where this whole mentality has started from. But at the same time, if you are able to convey your emotions, be able to be in tune with your emotions, you're also stronger too, because you're not carrying around this emotional baggage that you just, you know, every time an emotion comes up, it's like, oh, I'm gonna put that one in that pack. I'm gonna put that in the bag. I'm gonna put that in the bag. Like, and I'm just not gonna deal with it. Because at the end of the day, you become like a ticking time bomb. If you've suppressed all of these emotions, one, you become numb. Two, you become a ticking time bomb that is going to explode at some point in some particular way, be it a complete outrage of anger or maybe kind of like an abandonment or um, maybe it's a depressive side of things. It's gonna be something because at some point, all of this is just gonna weigh upon you and it's just gonna be like, you know what? I can't deal with this anymore. I'm out of here. And if you're unable to be able to communicate your emotions to the people in your lives, the loved ones, or even to yourself. For me, when I was going through my journey, I grew up in a family where emotions were never something that was spoken about. And look, it, it was what it was. In my father's era and my grandfather's era, that just was the norm. Like you just, guys didn't show emotions. So my father didn't understand how to articulate emotions and look to some degree he still doesn't but he he responds and tells me he loves me when I tell him at times so it's good he's starting there I'm getting there I'm chipping away at it because there is a strength for a guy to be able to express his emotions it is not deemed as a weakness it's actually in my opinion it's a weakness not to be able to convey them because it's like brushing it under the rug and just not dealing with it it is so much easier hands down so much easier to not deal with what's going on and pretend like it doesn't exist than it is to actually acknowledge it express it and convey it so as i was growing up and not being able to convey my emotions i would constantly be getting told when i when i was in that sort of state you know just grow up or you know just you know stop it whatever it was but in essence the whole concept was don't show the emotion and i realized like i'm so so grateful for my father 100% so grateful, love him to bits, and so appreciative of all the work that he did for me growing up because he truly is a, a man who I look up to. And at the same time, I've had to grow in my own space. I've had to understand who I am because I've always been an emotional kind of guy. I wouldn't say I'd be somebody who would cry at the, the drop of a hat. No, that's not what I'm saying. But I've always been somebody who's got a lot of love to give and struggles at times to be able to express that love to others because maybe they're a little bit like, it is a bit weird. What's going on with him? But anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. If you get one of my messages and it's like, you know, hey, hope you're having a great day. That's me expressing love. Like, it's not a question. It's not anything. It's just me just saying, look, giving you some love, thinking of you. And that's not who I used to be. I used to be somebody who was a lot shut down and not able to convey my emotions. Something that I've noticed as well, and I, this really was, I guess, one of the turning points for myself. My ex-fiance was a very strong dominant independent woman and I'm noticing this a lot in the world where there is the the shift there is a dynamic shift between males and females and I'm all for equilibrium so I think there's another underlying issue when it comes to masculinity and emotions is that with this dynamic shift that's happening in the world there's a lot more guys who are starting to struggle and be it that they they haven't had the role model be it that they haven't had the education or they haven't had the support around them to be able to express themselves in more of a, hey, I'm not doing okay, but do it in a way that they're not gonna get shut down. Like I know I was in my last relationship. Love the girl a bit, so appreciative of her. She's the one that has allowed me to grow to be the strong independent male that I am today. So a lot of gratitude there, no problems whatsoever. But at the same time, it was challenging. And 
fortunately I was able to understand it for myself and to be able to grow and recognize my emotions and my lack of emotional awareness and a lack of self-awareness as being something that I wanted to work on, wanted to grow and turn it into my strength. Because so many times I've been told when I was, be it security or be it other social environments that Brett, you're just soft, you're just too nice. When you are a male who is in tune with their emotions, you become a lot more flexible. You're able to ebb and flow with the emotions that are showing up and regulate yourself instead of just having one little thing just trigger you and next minute you've got this explosion of anger and frustration. What I've noticed is that the two sides of things is that generally it's those that are not so in tune with themselves or maybe there's some sort of other social stuff that's going on and maybe they're trying to, I don't know, big note themselves and in Australia we kind of call it like tall poppy syndrome if somebody's standing out in some particular way whether it's financially business or opinion or, or whatever it is, then the rest of the group tries to chop them down. Not a healthy thing, doesn't help the process either because what that brings is that guy on the receiving end, you know, if they then can't turn to their friends and actually truly express themselves, next minute they're, you know, sitting by themselves thinking the whole world hates them and at the same time not able to be able to convey their emotions to themselves and understand what's actually going on for them. Instead, all they've got is just, I'm weak, I'm insecure, I'm, I'm this, I'm not strong enough, I'm not able to do this, this, and this. And all of these things are just stacking on. And I truly believe that the two combination of the strong independent females, now I'm not pointing the blame, so any females watching this, relax. I'm, as I said, all for it. I 100% agree with it. What I want to do with this video is start to encourage the guys out there to get to know themselves, understand your emotions, and don't see it as a weakness because it honestly, it takes a strong man to be authentic, to be with their emotions and to be able to convey their emotions, to be able to express their emotions. And I highly believe that this would be a big shift in a lot of relationships because I've heard a lot of females comment about how the guy just doesn't talk enough. Like it just sort of like, yep, mm, yep, a lot of this. And maybe that is because they're not given the space to be able to convey it. That's another thing. That's another topic for another day. Instead, like in my past relationship, I'd try and go with a, with something and I'd get shut down completely and it would just be like, yeah, it's your issue. And I'm like, oh, I don't even know what's going on. So you've got the shift of the dynamics of the strong independent woman. And all of a sudden guys are like, wow, my role as a male to be the strong, dominant, independent breadwinner for the family. I'm not that anymore. So it begs the question of, well, who am I? What is my role here? What is this dynamic? I don't understand it. And if you aren't able to understand and tune in as to what the emotions are that are going on, well, there's probably only one way it's going to go. It's going to lead to something going on and there's going to be some frustration which is going to lead straight into anger and next minute the guy is yelling at the female and just expressing how, pointing the finger, all the blame on them and it's not my fault. It's like, you you can't do this, you can't do that right. And it's simply because the guy is not able to express or understand what's going on for themselves. Because they've been brought up in this world that has said that emotions are not masculine. And I say BS to that world. It's a load of bollocks. It's really, really, really not true. This is a topic that I've been holding back on for some time. And I've had to calm myself a few times in this recording. And this is not the first recording that I've done. And then you've got the other side that I spoke about, the tall poppy syndrome where you've got if some guy is starting to express themselves in a slightly different way and, and start to show their ideas in a different way or want to create something else in their life then somebody else in the group for the sake of perhaps just blowing up their own ego attacks that guy in a like a verbal sense is like trying to belittle them for their difference for their change for their desire to go after their own dreams and you've got the two things and I highly believe that this is why the male suicide rate in Australia is actually higher than the female suicide rate because females do tend to be a lot more in tune with their emotions they're able to understand because females just tend to talk more they just tend to be more expressive they talk with their girlfriends whereas the guys grow up in the world that is still holding on to this masculinity and emotion that they just don't match they, they don't go together that's the the guys who are the ones that are starting to struggle with this whole situation and it breaks my heart it honestly does all it comes down to is just being able to understand what's going on to be able to convey it and this is why I'm creating this this video and if you're watching this if you're one of those guys and you're having a bit of a low point right now and you're not sure you know where you can turn to you know you're almost even contemplating the things that we I don't really want to speak about on these videos videos, but I've been there myself. When you're contemplating, what the heck am I even doing here? Now, what's the point? Nobody's going to miss me. 
you know, that's the times where I want to say there's nothing wrong with you. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you. You are not weak. There is 100% strength in who you are, your emotions, and it, all it is is just being able to understand them. It's being able to tune into them, to convey them, to understand when you're in a social environment that is just not right for you and being comfortable to say, you know what, I'm good guys. Not today. This doesn't work for me. Because even to say no is sometimes one of the hardest things that you can do. Especially if you're trying to please everybody, if you're a people pleaser because you're trying to fit in. We're all unique and that's perfect the way it is. But we're all not meant to be the same. There's a gift that's lying dormant within you right now. And you probably even know it. And that's what you're here to create. And if you're having a tough time and you're in a place you are contemplating these things, I want to say hang in there because you're on the right path. Understand your emotions, work with them, don't fight them. They are not a weakness. And when you do, when you start to shift and start to process all of that baggage that you've been holding onto, I can assure you through my own personal experience that the whole world gets a heck of a lot lighter. It's a bit like the sun just coming out and the relationships around, you start to realize that there are people that are just not right for you to be around. And maybe that's because they're not quite in tune with their emotions and that's okay. We are all here on our own journeys and wherever we are right now in our journey is perfect for us. And if you're starting to question the circles that you're hanging around in or the relationships that you're in, then it is perfectly okay to step back and say, hey, I gotta work on myself right now because I matter and I'm worth it. You know, it just, it just frustrates me. It really does. And to be honest, it's one of the reasons why I've created Life With Options because a lot of the stories that I shared in here, so a lot of the examples are actually from my own life. Having been in those situations is not fun. And then finding your own strength within your emotions and being okay with that, being good with that. You know, it's refreshing, it really is. And as I say, it's one of the reasons why I created Life With Options because I got to a point in my own life where I was contemplating things. I wasn't in tune with my emotions. I didn't even understand them. As far as I was, I was numb to the world. And I'd suppressed so much stuff from my childhood. I'd suppressed so much, which I've now worked through and being able to be free with it and be okay with it and now be able to deal with anything that comes up. It's why I created Life With Options. It's my burning passion and desire to reach out to people and to be able to turn that switch on and to say it is strength for a male to be able to show their emotion. And I agree, it's strong to have a female to express their emotions as well. But sorry ladies, this video is about the lads. So through my own personal journey to become strong in my own emotions, that's where Life With Options was born. That's where the Path to Self Mastery program was born. It's where this whole journey started for me. And the thing that excites me so much is the fact that I know that I'm just getting started. And I every single day I'm being more authentic to be able to share myself, to be able to encourage you. It's why I do it, to be able to encourage you to know that it's all okay. You've got this. And as I say about this topic, it is it takes a strong man to be able to be with their emotions, to be able to convey them and to be okay with it instead of just reacting aimlessly and just throwing it out there. But as I say, we're all on our own journey. And wherever we are, it's perfect wherever it is. But if you're finding that now is the time that you're starting to question things and start to open up and wanting to grow as yourself, you're not really too sure where to start, then by all means, go and click on the link below for the Path to Self Mastery program. Join the Life with Options family in our Facebook group and know that you're perfect where you are. So if you got any value out of this video, like it, share it, comment it, but more importantly, take action and just know that where you are is perfect as it is. And when you're ready to grow, that there's another brother here waiting to say, we got this. So go ahead guys, and I'll speak to you again on the next video. Cheers.